Welcome back to another power-packed episode of GCK Daily, where God's heart and call to intimacy is unveiled. You know, all of the religions of the world, except for Christianity, they say that for a person to obtain benefits of an eternal life, blessings, or joy, that person must do something, must be something, or must behave in a certain way in order to make that deity or personhood happy enough to win the favor of said deity. This is very much unlike how Jesus Christ operates. God has already given himself for us with the sacrifice and the death of his son Jesus Christ and the resurrection. His life-giving blood was enough. God longs to grow in intimacy with us so that we can learn to listen and to abide in the Holy Spirit. Transformation, the forgiveness that comes, the change of life that comes, the new life, eternal life that comes to you. Look at that, Isaiah chapter 1, reading from verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Come now, it says, hurry up. It says, don't waste any time. It says, this is the time. The time of your salvation. The time of your renewal. The time of your forgiveness. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, dirty, Evil, dangerous, rage, danger. Rage is what you know people use when uh, there is a possibility of open electric wire somewhere, and the pace not there, and they say danger with rage. What the Lord is saying is that your sins. Your iniquities, don't they be red like crimson? You'll make them as white as snow. Tonight is that night when the Lord will take all your transgression, when the Lord will take all your iniquity, when the Lord will take everything that has been wrong in your life, and you confess, and you forsake, and you say, Lord, here am I, cleanse me, wash me, forgive me, the Lord will forgive you. It says, but there must be something, look at verse 19, verse 19 says, if ye be willing, are you willing to have eternal life, are you willing to have forgiveness, are you willing to have all your sins blotted out. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Over here on earth, the Lord will take care of you. Yeah. And then with that salvation, with that transformation, with that change of life, when you die, you go to be in the presence of the Lord and you'll eat the good of that eternal everlasting land in Jesus name sin brings suffering here and eternity but repentance salvation new life forgiveness brings goodness here on earth and also in eternity amen let me show you some people that have done that. Acts chapter 19. And see how they turned away from their iniquities. See how they turned away from their sin. How the goodness of God in salvation, in freedom, in forgiveness. How the goodness of God in eternal life came unto them. Acts chapter 19. I'm reading from verse 18. And many that believed came and confess and showed their deeds. They add magical instruments. They add occultic materials. And when they knew that iniquity 
And they knew transgression. And they knew their evil will bring suffering upon them. They came and they believed in the Lord. And as they believed in the Lord, they confessed and everything was taken away. Look at verse 19. In verse 19, many of them also, which used curious acts, occultic acts, because they belong to different gangs and societies doing evil, they brought their books together and they bunch them before all men and they counted the price of them and found the age 50,000 pieces of silver. Their repentance was genuine. Their repentance actually brought them forgiveness from the Lord. As you repent tonight, forgiveness will come. Salvation will come. Eternal life will come. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. So here's what we've learned today. Number one, Transformation is awakened at the time of forgiveness. Secondly, forgiveness can be immediate. The Lord wants us to understand the transformation that is available to us changes us physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. The goodness of God will come upon our lives and we will be forever changed. Tell the Lord right there as you're standing up, the Lord is faithful and the Lord is ready. He'll forgive you now. Keep up your hand as you are standing up and praying with you now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, I come on behalf of every sinner, every transgressor that has repented and they are calling upon you that they want your salvation, your forgiveness now. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Blot out all their transgressions. Change their lives and grant them favor and grace for righteous living in Jesus' name. Confirm in their heart the joy of salvation. Grant unto them the peace of salvation. Grant unto everyone the victory in salvation that they will not continue in the old way anymore in Jesus' name. Let your spirit be a witness of their heart, of their spirit like right now. They are saved. They are forgiven. And they have reconciliation with God, redemption from God. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you ready? Yes. Willing? Yes. Believing? Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you tonight because you are mighty God and because you are God that cannot fail. You have given your word and the word is going to come true. I pray, Lord, manifest your healing power in the lives of the people tonight. In Jesus' name. The God who is the same yesterday and today and forever. The God who says, I am God, I change not. Manifest that transforming power, triumphant power in the life of every sick person here today. In Jesus' name. Jesus, the same yesterday and today and forever. And you went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. You are going to do today what you have ever done in the past. And therefore, Lord, I pray your healing virtue will flow through everyone right now. Healing touch, come to everyone right now. 
and healing testimony in every mouth now in Jesus' name. Just blind eyes, I command you, be opened in Jesus' name. The sanity, madness, I command that spirit, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. I pray, Lord, by your mighty power, take that deafness away and take that dumbness away in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling in their body. All that swelling, the Lord touch you right now in the neck, in the tummy, in the private part, anywhere, lipantiasis. I command the swelling, come out in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have any incredible disease like cancer, like blood just flowing and flowing. I'm asking, Lord, to touch them right now, transform their lives right now, heal them right now, set them free from that cancer in Jesus' name. The kidney problem there, I command kidney come alive and be healed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have any demonic oppression in their body, knocking their head, or walking about in their body, or just causing incurable problem there, I command that evil spirit walking about in the body, come out in Jesus' name. For those who have any paralysis with that hand or with that leg or stroke or anything like that, and even the broken bones, heal them right now. Lord, heal them right now. Lord, make them to rise and walk in Jesus' name. Impossibilities become possible in your life. And the grace of God and the glory of God and the power of the Lord operate in your life right now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your miracle. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is done. It is done. So much for me. Why should I worry? He cares. He cares. And watches over me. I put my mind at ease. For God is my strength and my victory And He gives His angels charge over me And I hear His Spirit whispering Teaching me, reminding me and He cares Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Queen. We are sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. So please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handles. Please also like and subscribe and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. We would love for you to join us at their next global crusade. Thank you.